So, good afternoon. I promised I would show you how to correct this drawing that I did initially a few days ago. So here we are. It's going to be a short video, but I'm going to explain. So, looking at the original uh, still life, this is called a still life. The first uh, correction that we have to make is the height of this glass bottle is a lot bigger, should be a lot bigger than this, right? Or the other way around. So, that's the first thing. So let's say that this bottle comes to around here. That would be the base back there because we're looking at perspective. Yeah, it's going to be back there. Then let's say that this is the right size bottle. I can't do it any bigger because of the paper. I should have reduced it all and made it all further down or all smaller. But anyway, let's say that this is the right size of the bottle. The other, so the first is the size of the bottle, yeah? The second one is the shape of the bottle, the shape, right? So as you can see, this one, the, the original one, you have a longer bit. First of all, it's more delicate than this, and then it goes out, yeah? And I didn't have time, I was drawing it sitting down, not looking at it properly. But I don't know if you can see, this is more like the shape. Actually, the bottom is a lot rounder. So the way we, do, we actually do this is do like a, a round sphere and then do this. I think I'm tending to, to do it lopsided again. Maybe it's just the way, because I, can't, I can still see the other one coming through. It's still a little bit lopsided. But do you see what I mean, yeah? This is okay. I would have to spend a lot more time on this drawing up here. This is like this. It is a bit confusing with the other one underneath. This one is, I should have done some ellipses before, but let's get to the, 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 the height of it. It's still too low, so it's still too small. I think I'd make it bigger, and it is lopsided again. But uh, do you see, you, sh you shouldn't start painting it until the right, you've got it the right, um, the right shape and the right proportions. The next one, this is how we do it. You would take your pencil, same in, stay in the same spot, and I would measure, close one eye, and you measure this bottle with your pencil. Okay, so let's say it was a full size and a bit like this. Then I would do the same with this metal bottle, and, or you can say that this metal bottle comes to this this part so the bottle this one here should come to here so the top of the bottle should come approximately here to the the other bottle in, in relation to the other bottle and then we have this bit coming out so this would be the cylinder yeah and this comes here and then quite a lot out on the sides okay so obviously this would have the same. So do you see how the difference, there is a big difference here. I don't know if you can see it because of the tracing paper, but already I'm just trying to get the relationship. This bottle here was too high. It was coming up. It was as if this was coming up to here when in fact it should be down here, right? So that's a little bit better. Um, Okay, I'm not going to go into detail here. Then one other, so the size of the other bottle was wrong. Uh, metal, I would say metal bottle. Totally out of proportion. Number four, the pepper. This pepper is double the size of that one. So what we actually have here is we do this again. We look at this. It's about this much of the pencil. Um, so it's, it starts here somewhere. And it ends up, you can see, in relation to this metal bottle. It's about halfway, sort of thing, about here. So look how it is stumpier, smaller and stumpier. Yeah, not as long as this. This was covering the whole of the bottle. And then in here, the, the pepper hat is looking at us in a way. Um, this is what we have. So this is more like this side. Then we go back in and erase what we don't need. So that's more like the pepper. 
The apple is uh, actually changed a little bit. This is a different apple. I've actually eaten the original apple. The apple wasn't too bad, although this one is more um, longer. It's not as round as the original. I'm going to leave the apple as it is. Again, this pepper is not too bad. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, it was hidden back there. Now, one thing that I will be covering in the course is about perspectives, okay? And this is one, we can look at the angle of this this um, pepper, which is actually looking up more. So actually I have this wrong as well, right now. It's looking up more than that one, okay? And this pepper, you take the pencil again and you put an axis through the middle. So imagine the pencil going through this middle here. We'll just put it on top to see that's the angle it's coming from. It's coming from that point of perspective. So you do the same, you point to that and then you take it along here. So this is my, so it's not too bad what I've done. Do you see that line I've done here? It's not too bad, it's slightly bit down, a little bit more. So I'm not going to bother too much with this one. So this would be my perspective. So that was the pepper, pepper, green, okay. <laughs> Now, the other, the other item that was completely off balance was this box. I haven't got it here, actually, but just to let you know, um, talking about perspectives, if this is the perspective of that pepper, then this, the same should be, or not, not necessarily, of this top lid. And it depends how much we see. So, really, what we should see of this top of the top of this bottle should be the same sort of area as we see of this although this is shorter smaller you could see more of this top here yeah? um, the perspectives here are completely wrong so it's probably going to be like that we haven't got the box at the moment I forgot to bring it um, so first of all you should make it into a, a rectangular box it down and it was actually bigger than than what I had here so that's looking at a bit the same so basically this is parallel it was parallel to the back line this one has to be parallel to this one this one and this one and this one also the base one you don't see but it would also be parallel to these and then we'd work I remember the edges of the, the this uh, perfume bottle were actually um, it was taken in like so but that would be a different lesson to go it was like that and like this okay so that is basically it do you see the difference now do you see how this pepper actually this pepper flows in here back here and then you put the lights and the shadows okay and this is the base of the pepper i'm just doing it quite quickly to give you an idea what was wrong yeah, and then of course we have the apple here, the, this one's a lot thinner. Um, and then the shading, so you put shading here to show where, where this is actually coming in contact with the, with the ground. So, this is basically it. So, the, the, so again, let's go back. This bottle was out of proportion, this was badly drawn. This one was a different proportion too, now it's correct. Um, the pepper was too big, look it was goes all the way here, yeah. And then when you do the draw the actual painting, you see that it wasn't right, so there's no point spending time painting if you've done the basic wrong. Um, so the pepper was a lot shorter, that's why it was stumpier, as we have it here. Then we have then we do the, the, the shadows and things, but I'm not going into that. The apple wasn't too bad. Um, this one was a bit too big as well. This one was probably a bit, can be bigger. The angle was a bit off. And this bottle was completely wrong. So the perfume bottle. Sorry about the writing. <laughs> so that was probably the fifth one. Yeah? 